let's eat everything that I bought at Don Don Donkey, which is like basically Don Quixote. I'm gonna show you guys all the like edible things. No, actually everything that I bought was edible. I'm gonna show you guys all the like ready to go foods that I bought. And we're gonna finish off with something extremely exciting because it cost me a lot of money. I'm starving. Let's try with my favorite thing. Actually, no, let's, let's drink water first. It's okay. I'm gonna start with my favorite. If you're gonna get Oden, you have to get the radish. Or if you're gonna make it, add the radish because the radish is the best part. Mm. I think to some people, it's a little stinky. Some kind of vegetable. It tastes like a barbecue. The last thing I got, there's nothing inside, what the fuck? Get the radish, get the soup, don't get anything else. You know what? I'm gonna say the odor I make myself is pretty bomb that this is just like mediocre. We're gonna try these crab, Hokkaido milk crab crepe. This is where an air fryer would be very handy. Yo. These are so good. How much were you? It's like a creamy, but not like a milky, like heavy cream creamy. It's just this like rich, smooth, like paste. That sounds weird. But like it's salty, but like seafoody. But there's this like just like creaminess to it. That's kind of like think of the texture of like really like whipped potatoes. It's got like a density to it. Oh, how fun. It's just really good. You guys gotta get this. I don't know how you're gonna get this, but you gotta travel to get this. I think this is the best thing I've had so far. To be fair, it's only been day three, but like, I would walk in the heat for you. The last savory thing, I got these like meat skewers. I think it's pork and bacon. Mm. Low key, I thought this wasn't gonna be good. It's not dry, because it looks like it's gonna be dry. I think it's just rolled up slices of pork. Mm. This is just okay. And dinner's at six and it's three. But I actually like my sweet potatoes cold because when they're cold, they kind of taste like custard, but you're not eating sugar. Instead, you're eating a vegetable. So it's like, you feel like you're making better choices for yourself. Whoa. Sweet potato does not taste like the sweet potatoes in Canada or like the ones we buy or like the Japanese ones I buy. It kind of tastes like roses, but like not in a bad way. Like the first bite is kind of florally and then it tastes like a sweet potato and then you get this like roastedness to it and it's sweet, but not too sweet, which is perfect. And it's a vegetable. I'll just also eat the peel. The bacteria that was on it before, it was probably dead and gone. Wash the sweet potatoes, but like, it just seems like it would be healthy to eat. Next thing I have is this Hokkaido milk bun. Oh! <gasps> Ew. It smells very good. No. It tastes like nail polish. Moving on to desserts. I only bought like two things because the dessert was the most expensive part. First thing we have is this daifuku. This is nice. Soft, chewy, not sweet, light green tea flavor. This is not bad. The last thing that I bought is the most expensive thing I bought, but the most exciting thing I bought. Let me go get the last item. It costed me $20, but I got these strawberries. Are we seeing them? Are we seeing them? Like, ah, uh, the color, the size. I kind of smell like, like the perfect high chew. Oh my God. Oh my God. Until you eat one of these, you're not gonna know what I mean by the perfect strawberry because no, I didn't know what that meant until I tasted this strawberry and it's like better than a high chew better than any kind of artificial, like perfectly like flavored strawberry thing. Better than any other strawberry you've ever had. This tastes like, but wait, let me eat another one. Look at this. Let me wash this and be right back. Oh my God. 
strawberry but not strawberry there's like this like floralness of like peach and maybe like like hints of apple and like This is gonna be the best thing in the whole trip. Okay, the croquettes were like good, but these were like beautiful. I have nothing else to say besides the fact that if you can find Japanese strawberries, buy them. If they're a little more expensive, buy them. If you have to spend every dollar in your bank account, buy them. I mean, pay rent first, but like buy them. Loki don't wanna share them, but I already told him I bought them. So now I have to share. Anyways, if you're coming to Thailand and you are looking for like some Japanese goodies, I recommend going to Donkey. No, Don Don Donkey. Donkey Hotel. I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna eat more strawberries and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!